Hey you from mess with js Aegis here and welcome back to getting started with ECMAScript 6. In the previous video we talked about promises and in the end, at the end of the video we have, I had mentioned the structuring and therefore I decided to cover the structuring in this fifth video of the series. So let's go ahead and open our sublime text and start talking about it. So what the structuring is we're gonna show using code. So let's create an array for example and give it a few values. Let's give it two cow and uh, for and the old-fashioned way to structure this would be just to create a variable our own like this let let's say number is equal to I don't know like array of zero and if we console log the number itself we will get two so now we have the structure uh, we have taken the value of the array and assign it to a separate variable if we want to get a cow or whatever we would say let animal is equal to array of zero and if we go ahead also and print the animal we're gonna get two and cow and that's awesome so what ECMAScript brought the structuring is is much simpler and much cleaner so we open the parentheses like this these brackets uh, we assign the array itself or the object later on when we start talking about objects and we simply say uh, number and animal and I don't know another number. If we take a look at the right here, which is compiled version of ECMAScript 5, we will notice that this line is this here. So as you can see yourself, it's much, much uh, synthetically and simply much easier and better to read. So we can now simply just console log anything and we're going to get the value of the array. I just need to say that the, the uh, number of elements here should be equivalent to number of elements here otherwise you're gonna get undefined so if you go ahead now and create uh, another variable called var or r, r, and if you try to console log that variable you will get undefined and simply because this variable was created and the value without any value because our array currently has only three elements and we are destructuring four so right now you have something like this so now let has created in this global scope something like let of bar r is equal to undefined. So this happens if this number is greater than the number that you actually have in your data set or your array. Okay, this is awesome. There's another just thing that I want to mention. We can uh, destruct uh, nested arrays uh, or objects. So if you say something like five, six here, and if we go here, so that would be the, in this case, animal. So let's create a, let's call it nested. So if you go ahead and, and say something like nested and run it, we're gonna get five, six. I'm not sure if we can do something like this. Yes, we can. So basically you can access nested elements like this. So if you, if you do something like this, clear the screen, you will get six. So as you can see, we're now accessing the nested array inside of the, this array by saying nested of certain element position and that is really really awesome um, and we can probably and we could do something like this nested of uh, five and six I actually haven't tested this but let's try to do that so if we try to do something like this that would be cool yes we can and if we do something like six we get a, a six let, let's try five again. I don't remember if we got. Okay, we are obviously getting six constantly because uh, this didn't five six. This didn't really work, I assume. So uh, yeah, it didn't. I think actually we got a compile error. Yes, we can't do this. We can't enter the nested uh, element and then also give it a new values. That would be awesome if we can. So yes, you can't do that. So you you can do something like this and then access them like this, which is awesome. So this was pretty much everything about the uh, arrays itself. Let's now show the structuring of the object. So let's create an object and let's give it a, a name of Alexander and let's give it a, I don't know, age of 9,000. So if we want to destructure this object now, it's very similar. We say let, we open the parentheses, we assign it to an object. And in here we say uh, name, which is this name, and we give it a new variable, which is let's call it new name, 
and if we want an age as well we can call it uh, I don't know new age we save that if we go ahead now and console log new age uh, which is on the next step we will get 9000 so this is how with the structure objects as well which is very uh, very similar we give it a object property name which is this and we give it a value that we want to assign this property object uh, property the property to the new variable so now age is stored in new age and name is stored in new name if you're wondering why are we doing it before in order to do this if we would have an object the old-fashioned way would be to say now let of name is equal to object dot name and then let dot age is equal to object that that was the old-fashioned way the new way is this we destructure it as we as we previously did like here and that is awesome the last thing that I want to mention is uh, that we can destructure mixed data set so if we create a, an object again and if we create, I don't know, a name of JSB and uh, date of zero, I don't know what I'm saying. And if we create an array here, and if we say something like, um, I don't know, like two, two and four. And also let's create a, um, here a nested object as well. So let's say, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, person. And let's give person an age and let's give it a height so now we have an array in our object and we have a nested object as well and just as, as, as we showed previously we can also um, destructure this it's it is possible the way we do it is, is very simple we simply go go ahead and uh, usually we say let and then we assign it to our object and then if we want to, to destructure, for example, this uh, sub-document right now, we would do something like this. So first we would say name is new name, let's call it like that, date is new, new date, and person is very simple, age is new age, and uh, what do we have, height is new height. We save this, if we try to console log, for example, new height and run that let's first see if everything is all right here so object okay we should probably missing this so let's see name is new name date is new date person is yeah, our person has okay good should be new age and new height exactly yes this should definitely work Let's see if we have a syntax error somewhere. Let's actually see our compiler, what it says. Okay, we definitely have something uh, something bad here. So, I, I believe that we should probably do something like this. And now it should work. Yes, so we have a static syntax error here. So if you go ahead now and try to compile this, we're gonna get 9000. So we're accessing this nested sub-document here by specifying new height or if we go ahead and say new age we're gonna get 22 and we can just as well do the same with the with the array itself so we put a dot here a comma here and say array and then we say uh, I don't know two and four if we try to console log two now we're gonna get two from place here or four and I believe we could also probably have an asset guy another guy in there just say 55 56 so if we now try to destructure that as well so if you go here and say uh, nested and if we go and try to console log that we're gonna get 55 56 and if we you specify the elements of it we're gonna get 55 and that's awesome so this is basically everything you need to know about the structuring there's only one thing that we can mention and that is a, a dot separator so for example imagine you have a let uh, let's say let array is equal to I don't know let's just say one and two and three and you don't want to 
uh, the structure entire array, you just want to specify an item, you can say something like, uh, again, let's and give it an array. So if you want to skip the first two numbers, for example, here, we can do something like comma, comma, and then three. So if we console log three, we are basically gonna get number three, and we have skipped the values right now that we don't want to destructure because maybe sometimes we just want to target a certain element. Personally and honestly, I don't see a point in this because if I want to destructure just one element, I would, I would do something like uh, the old fashioned way. I would say let that L and I would say array of certain element, array position and that would do. Anyway, this was everything for the structuring objects and arrays and mixed. Now we have just showed the mixed example in the previous. Uh, the last what we did was mixed. You probably saw that there was an array inside of the object as well. And uh, that's everything about the structuring. Uh, I hope you will mess with JS and I hope this video will benefit you in, in your coding sessions and stuff. In the next video, I'm not sure again what we're going to do. Error functions is something that I'm very... Uh, happy about and stuff so maybe we'll do that anyway until now i will thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one